Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. Uh, remember, this is a channel for narcissistic abuse recovery, narcissistic abuse education, all things narcissism. Uh, my name is Andrew and I am here to help educate you. Um, today's topic is going to be more of an introductory one for some of you because I'm getting many DMs and many emails from people um, asking a lot of questions about the channel and about narcissism overall. So what I'm going to do is describe what the channel is about, what we're doing, and I'll get into a couple topics. Uh, first of all, thank you all for being here. I appreciate it. Uh, it means so much to me. I love you all. God bless you. Thank you. So what narcissism is, for many of you on, on the first time uh, on the channel, uh, you may have understood finally or, or, or are getting what narcissism is, and you may be questioning yourself, am I in a narcissistic relationship? Uh, remember, there are many signs of narcissism it, it, it can be your spouse it can be a someone you're dating it can be um, mom dad brother sister business associates it can be anybody uh, but if you know what the signs are and you can look for them then you can determine pretty much if you are in a narcissistic abusive uh, situation or relationship uh, my experience with narcissism um, is uh, through a marriage that's that's my experience um, but we all have different experiences like I'm talking to so many people there are many different ways people have it um, have experienced this but the whole idea is when you think that you're in a relationship that something might not quite be right that's a red flag and like we talk about on this channel frequently you need to trust your instincts if, if you think there's a red flag you need to acknowledge it and, and look deeper into it what you don't want to be doing is you don't want to be saying to yourself, oh yeah, okay, that's a red flag, but it's okay. It's probably going to go away and it's no big deal. That's putting off the inevitable. What it's doing is delaying a bigger problem down the road. Because if you see one red flag in your relationship, there's a high likelihood you're going to see many more. It doesn't just stop at one red flag. There are numerous red flags. So just like with your... Um, just like say you are uh, you're picking a job or you're investing or something, you're always going to want to pick the best position for you, right? And that goes with all of your relationships too. It goes with everything. And you may say, well, Andrew, what about my brother and my sister? I, I can't I can't change them. No, you can't. And for that, you're right. But you can limit the contact you have with them, and you can protect yourself and build boundaries. All these things we talk about on the channel. If you look at other videos, you'll see. The point being though, for the, for the new people here on the channel, they're just understanding or, or their eyes are being opened to a possibility of being in a narcissistic relationship, no matter what it is. These are some, some key things you need to understand. That red flags, you're gonna see them. And you're gonna, like I said, you're gonna say, wow, something's not right. You know, every time I see that person, I feel anxiety. Or that person, you know, they don't really uh, give me the time of day. Or they're not respecting my boundaries. Or it's always about them. You know, they're, they're always tuned in talking about themselves, but when it comes to my turn to talk, they don't really listen to me or pay attention. They have a, a quick memory. These are red flags, and, and like we talked about a couple days ago about red flags, you should check that video out. But the point being, instincts are key. If you think that something's not right, you really need to do some research and find out if in fact your, your instincts are correct, and I'm sure that they are. Um, narcissism is prevalent. In this world it's it's more and more prevalent now that, now that we have smartphones and devices and tablets and uh, all the all the things that that demand our attention throughout the day just like this you're watching this video I'm certain on a smartphone right now or a laptop probably um, maybe you're at work sneaking it in on a desktop but the point being whatever wherever you're watching it um, you're on a device and devices are the narcissist's best friend and why is that because that's how they get all of their supply and you may say, well, Andrew, what is supply? Supply, very simply, in my, de my definition of supply, is when you give the narcissist the attention or the reaction that they're looking for. It can be positive, it can be negative, but it won't be uh, something that a normal person would need. Like in a normal person, you're gonna have a conversation, it's gonna go back and forth, and then you're gonna move on, and that's, that's part of your day. With a narcissist, no. You, you, will, you will know, because the narcissist will look for a reaction out of you and then turn things around on you and blame you or gaslight you or or maybe they're gonna ignore you um, basically what a narcissist is 
is a adult or a person stuck in the mental attitude uh, growth of a seven-year-old child and again you may say Andrew what are you talking about like, what this doesn't make sense well think about it when you're seven years old uh, approximately you know and if you don't if the neighborhood kids are, are playing and you're playing with them and you don't want to uh, you want to you know take your ball and go home that's what you do because that's your seven that's what a narcissist does only at all ages if they don't want to deal with things and they don't they're gonna take their ball and go home so this is on so many different levels it's when you're texting if they don't get back to you um, that's because they want control and they want to dominate you and that's a way of control maybe they uh, disappear for a couple days at a time maybe they ghost you that's a famous one maybe they ignore you maybe they gaslight you maybe they just flat out demean you and diminish you all of these things like we talk about in the channel and believe me guys uh, this video is it's kind of all over the place but it's for a reason it's for people that are first timers coming to the channel to understand what's going on these are all signs of narcissism every one of them now I'm not saying that everyone's a narcissist because they're not most people aren't we all have a little bit of narcissism in us but we're not all full-blown narcissists and thank goodness we're not there are so many empathic people and people that are just kind and, and kind-hearted but with your relationships if you're watching this video there's probably a good reason you're on my channel but think about each and every one of your relationships that maybe doesn't quite feel right or maybe like I said maybe maybe you just think it's one-sided or you think that you know you've been giving for so long and giving and giving and you don't really receive well here's another one how about the person contacts you and uh, th they call you when they need something but they're not around any other time that's a really big one think okay well you know I haven't heard from so-and-so in months and all of a sudden they call me and they need something okay well I can help them out but if that's a pattern especially if when you need something you contact them and they don't have time for you not good think about it they're flat out just not a good human being not helping you or they could have narcissistic characteristics now remember narcissism is on a spectrum so there's different shades it, it, it's up down it's all over the place um, but another tell if you are in a narcissistic relationship or if someone you know is a narcissist is black and white you see the narcissist does not have a gray area it's either black or white meaning you're either on their side or you're against them that is the most clear definition I can tell you they will make a crystal clear when you're agreeing with them you guys could be the best of friends or you know you, everything's going well but the minute you say no which is the narcissist's least favorite word when you say no remember the narcissist can say no all they want to because they have no boundaries but when you say no they don't like that and that's putting the boundary up and you're not supposed to have any but the narcissist sees things good or bad and you're either with them or you're against them now there are times uh, when a narcissistic uh, abusive relationship has ended or uh, the narcissist you haven't seen them in a long time they can reframe things again guys I know I'm kind of all over the place in this one but it's for a reason they can reframe things to see to have them see uh, to see them the way they want to see them so whereas maybe you've been ostracized and, and you're not they're, they're they think you're totally out to get them which they think most people are out to get them um, and then something may happen like maybe someone else is talking about you or something like that and they may reframe you in their minds and, and all of a sudden you're good again and you hear from them and you're and they pop up it's a strange behavior you guys it's it's very unusual but what you need to understand if you're on this channel watching and you've made it this far and thank you if you have is that these people do exist they're walking among us there's a very good chance that one of your neighbors is one or a family friend or a family member is one and the sooner you get educated on narcissism the better off you will be able to protect yourself not just in the workplace or with friends but in a romantic relationship also because any healthy relationship no matter who it is needs to be reciprocated it's got to be you give and receive and vice versa if you find yourself in a relationship that you're giving and giving and you're not really receiving that much that's one-sided I highly recommend you take a look at that and think about how much time you want to spend on that 
relationship. Now again, I'm not saying that that person is a narcissist. What I am saying is a one-sided relationship does not benefit you at all. It benefits them. And when we're adults, we should all be able to take care of ourselves. And we should all have empathy and definitely compassion. And a key thing also with, with people that perhaps are uh, narcissistic is it's, they, they cannot put themselves in another person's shoes. They just can't do it. They, they're incapable of that. So whereas, for example, you may, uh, you may you know, see a situation and say, wow, that person really has it tough. I mean, I hope they're okay or whatever. They won't do that. They're gonna think about themselves, themselves, and themselves. And when they're done thinking about themselves, they will continue to think about themselves. Because you see, they don't look backwards and they don't say, oh, what you did for me in the past. And they don't look forward like, um, they live in, in the here and now and what you can do for me now. Always in the constant search for supply, which is uh, their supply is what you give them when you interact with them and when you uh, give them your emotional responses. And um, they feed off this because they can't regulate. And regulation for a normal, healthy person just means like you can understand if someone doesn't agree with you. You can understand if things don't go your way, that you can calm down, think about it, process it, and move on. These people can't. What they do is they need to continuously um, get people to help them regulate themselves. And what that means is for them to regulate, it's they need supply. They need someone to take them out of reality and to make them feel good about themselves. Like they, they can't introspect and they can't say, oh, okay, you know what, I was wrong. That's another one, guys. Let's, let's switch gears there. The narcissist will not say these things. They will never say, I apologize. You know what? I apologize. They will never say, I was wrong. They will never say, you know what? That was my fault. You were right. You're not going to hear any of those things. So if all you ever hear is uh, how somebody is never wrong, they don't apologize, they, they don't understand your situation, or agree with you in the capacity of empathy, could be a narcissist. I'm gonna end the video right now by saying this. This video, like I said, it was, it's more educational, a quick overview of narcissism in general and how to look for some signs. Um, I'll get back to doing some di different content later today. I'm here in my rancho in Costa Rica with a beautiful backyard, sorry, <laughs> background, and I hope you guys enjoy the new scenery. Uh, I'll, I'll continue to shoot videos like this. I love you all, God bless you, and um, if you guys have any comments, drop them below. I'll answer everybody or questions. If you think this video could help anybody out that maybe it could be in a relationship or situation involving a narcissist, just share the video with them and let's get the word out. The more we can educate everybody, the better off it's going to be for everybody. I love you all. God bless you. Goodbye. You are not alone. Goodbye. I love you.